I think we all desire to be seen as generous people. And in fact, Rabbeinu Yonah in his commentary on Avos teaches that generosity is the gateway to all character perfection. However, it's easier said than done. We worry sometimes that if we're actively generous, we'll be overwhelmed with constant demands on our money and our time. And the truth is, it's not a simple process to set practical limits. However, there's another type of generosity that has an unlimited and ample supply. Years ago, my wife and I invited a newly married older couple to a Sudas mitzvah. Also in attendance was the Holy Rav Mordechai Scheinberger, the founder of the Yishuv Oregon News in Moron. At the end of the Suda, the newly married husband approached the Rav. He wanted to ask the Rav for a bracha for the seemingly impossible. They wanted to have a child and his wife was 49 years old. So Scheinberger looked at him and said, Yelecha ben, you'll have a son. A year later, they made a bris for a healthy baby boy. Can you imagine how much generosity of heart the Rav had to bring down such a miraculous thing? And in Parshas Devarim, we see Moshe Rabbeinu's generosity of heart. After Moshe states that Hashem has increased the Jewish people to be as numerous as the stars of the sky, Moshe immediately adds to the bracha and declares that Hashem should increase their numbers by a thousandfold. And the Zohar learns from Moshe Rabbeinu's example that whenever you mention the blessing that others have in terms of wealth or children, you should also bless them that Hashem will increase their bounty and bring protection. Hashem wants us to bless others with a good eye and a generous heart. What an easy way to cultivate a generous spirit. So the next time you're speaking of a friend's success, pause for a moment, have in mind the mitzvah of Yahafta the Reacha Kamocha, and bless them with a generous heart.